What's going on YouTube? Bringing you guys another Pelican case build. Uh, today we have the Pelican 1430 case with a Bluetooth amplifier receiver and three four inch uh, drivers. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this build. Um, this is my first uh, speaker box, so I'm sure you guys will have some input as to you know what I could have done better, and of course I appreciate the feedback. Uh, the next build's probably going to be a full reference um, system with the DSP and the Dayton Audio 4100 Bluetooth amplifier. Uh, so I kind of got my feet wet with this first one just to see how the whole thing works. Um, this was a pretty fun build. It actually <clears throat> didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to. It was like three hours. And it was more like planning out where I was going to put the woofer and the full range drivers. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go through the build. Um, on this side right here, we have the Dayton Audio 4 inch full range uh, reference drivers and I secured those to um, the side of the box with 1 inch stainless steel bolts that I got from Ace Hardware. So once we get into the box, I'll show you guys exactly how those are mounted. Um, I put this red switch on there. I like these red switches and the blue ones. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I actually don't have it hooked up to anything right now. I'm probably going to do lights on the outside that goes with the beach just to make it you know, fun. Um, <clears throat> right in the front here we have the Dayton Audio 4 inch mid bass uh, driver. Um, I'm probably going to go with five and a quarter next time or five and a half because this one is good. It sounds decent, but I want something with a little bit more of a punch. Uh, one of the takeaways that I got from this is probably not going to go with a four inch mid bass driver anymore. Or I might do, you know, a five and a half and then put a passive radiator on the back side um, and then tune that as, as well. So, and then on this side, we also have Dayton Audio four inch full range drivers. So, coming to the top, this is the one way that it can get power. This is a DC charge port. And I have that being powered by this Pelican case 25 amp hour battery pack that I just made. Um, this thing's pretty cool. I'm gonna actually gonna do a video on this as well. Uh, I kind of wanted these to pair with each other because they're both Pelican, so I made this. Um, this one has a 12 volt USB-C and then USB and the DC charge port that goes straight into the box. So a couple of other ways that this Pelican case can be powered, which I wanted a few different ways just in case one of the batteries ran out, is by this 20 volt max to watt battery and actually have the mount inside here. So we're going to get into that. The one thing that I don't really care about the DeWalt is that of course it doesn't have as much power as the power pack does. Uh, so you do kind of lose some punch on, on the lower ends. Or you could use a USB-C uh, cable that goes into the battery pack with the DC charge cable that goes right into the top right there. So, you know, if one pack dies, you have a dual battery, you can use that. If that dies, you have the battery pack. So you have juice for all day. So we'll go ahead and get into the build. And this is pretty much what I did on the inside. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera. So, so on the inside here, of course we had the foam. And then the Dynamat equivalent, it's the Amazon Basic Sound Deadener. So I have that at the top. And I have that all the way at the bottom as well with the foam. Um, this stuff actually did make quite a bit of a difference. It feels super solid now. And the Pelican case is, you know, these are really thick and solid anyways. But then you add this on top of it. And, you know, I don't have any issues with rattling. So right here, we have the Dayton Audio model RS100-4, so the four ohm. Um, and you guys can see the bolts right there, so I just did that all the way around. And this is the DeWalt battery pack. So this is, so this is completely, uh, you know, you can just plug that in there, and then as soon as your battery dies, you just pull it out and swap it out. That way you don't have any cables at the top and coming out the side and stuff. Everything is enclosed in here, so it's waterproof. And what I did was, is I took that DeWalt power, the uh, positive and the negative, and I 
just plugged it into this DC charger right here and this DC charge cable goes right into the port back here or you could use this one that goes from the top all the way to the bottom and then it has screws on this side so positive negative so that way you have different options uh, here is the Bluetooth audio amplifier um, not sure the brands but it had a lot of good reviews on Amazon it's a 2.1 Bluetooth amplifier, so we have volume, left and right, treble and bass, and then the subwoofer, frequency and volume. Um, <clears throat> it's decent. It's not anything that will knock your socks off. It's, uh, you know, it just depends on what kind of song you're playing. You do have to adjust the frequencies to make it sound good. Sometimes you have more distortion than, you know, like the last song, just depending on what you're going to listen to. Um, so, Doing DSP with the Dayton 4100 is probably the way to go. That's what I'm going to do next time. But for now, this is a pretty cool, fast build. Um, I do have more Pelican case uh, foam in here. So I have this one. And then I also have this one that goes right there. Just to kind of separate the speakers. It absorbs some of that energy so there's not backfiring, you know, going into different speakers. Um, and it actually does help. I, I used it with it and then... Uh, without it and it does make a pretty big difference. Uh, so right here I just mounted the Bluetooth receiver to the back with two 3M uh, tape sticks so pretty much if you need to take that off you can just just pull it off really quick and then there's another model RS100 4 ohm and then the mid base driver is the model ND1058 so it's an 8 ohm definitely gonna go with the 4 ohm next time um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we can get into how this thing sounds. And I'm going to do a video on this battery pack. So that's coming up next. Let's check this thing out. So if you guys are listening to this with headphones, you can probably tell that, you know, the, the mid bass drivers, it doesn't have a lot of punch. Um, so I, you know, if I were to do this again, I would not recommend this. I would recommend with uh, something a little bit bigger, probably five and a quarter, five and a half, possibly a passive radiator on the backside, uh, just to, you know, instead of a tube, because this thing does not have that much volume inside. Um, but yeah, so I think, for the first box, it was like 250 to 300 bucks. It's a fun build to do. Uh, feel free to comment, you know, stuff that you guys did that worked better. I'm actually really curious for the next build uh, with doing DSP and was DSP worth it? That's kind of really what I want to know. So feel free to chime in. I'm actually going to put all of the parts in the description. I don't get a kickback. I don't want to get a kickback. I just want you guys to be able to find the parts quickly, see, see what I used see what you could use that's better. Um, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll definitely help you out as much as I can. Thanks for watching.